my name is Glenn and welcome to Alakawisi, the show that is a magical world of fun. And what a show we've got for you today. Not only the chance to learn some fantastic new tricks to amaze your friends, but we also have two contestants battling to win and take home the brilliant Alakawisi wand. Now, where did I put that wand? Uh, Wizzy, Wizzy. Whoop. Hello, Glenn. Have you seen the Alakawisi wand? Um, gee whiz, Glenn, I think I have it back here somewhere. I was practicing with it a second ago. Whoop. I know it's back here somewhere. And this children is my faithful young apprentice, Wizzy the Wallaby. Hello, kids! The two contestants will be battling for this, the Alaka Wizzy wand, passed down through three generations of the Wizzy family and originally owned by your great-grandfather, the Great Wazoo. Oh, gee whiz, Glenn! Do you think I'll ever be as good as great-grandfather Wazoo? Uh, maybe one day, Wizzy, if you stay as my apprentice, but you need to know great, great magic. Oh, but I do know great magic, Glenn. Watch this. <laughs> uh, oh, Wizzy, you have much to learn. Are you ready for some magic? Oh, am I? Well, Wizzy, this is a trick I learnt from your great-grandfather himself. I call it the rising card trick. Wizzy, reach over and just touch any card. That one. This one right here, Wizzy. Now this is the card that Wizzy has chosen. Wizzy, I just place the rest of the deck and I bury your card right in the middle of the deck, just there like this, Wizzy. Now let's just double check, Wizzy, that's not your card, is it? No. Uh, but let's try some magic with you to see whether we can find your card. I'm going to pop the cards in the box like this, Wizzy. Wave my fingers over here. Watch what happens. One card, Wizzy, rises out of the deck. Wizzy, that was your card, wasn't it? Oh. What did you think of that? Show us this magic as you, Master. But how did you do it? Well, Wizzy, a good magician never gives away his secrets. But this once, I'll let you in on the magic. And if you want to learn some simple magic tricks too, then come over to my secret den. Oh, I can't wait to find out what magic trick Glenn is going to teach us today, children. Come on, let's head over to the den. Welcome to my magic den, and now, my friends, you are privileged enough to learn how this simple trick was made possible. Pay attention now. The secret is in this card box. It has a slit cut right in the middle. Just remember that. The other thing you're going to need is a thick card. That is this card here. That is two cards that have been sellotaped together. Yes, there's sellotape right round the edges of this, these two cards. That makes it a very thick card. The thick card is placed at the bottom of the deck. A card is freely chosen. In this case, we'll choose this card here. This is the Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds is placed on top of the deck and the rest of the cards are gathered up. Just remember, your thick card is right here. It goes on top of the chosen card, the Ace of Diamonds, which is here. The cards are squared up. The interesting thing about the thick card is that when you riffle down the back of the pack like this, you can feel the thick card drop. As soon as you feel the thick card drop, you need to stop right there. I riffle down, I can feel the thick cards just drop there. I cut the cards off, put them all on the bottom of the deck. This is the thick card. It is the two of spades. Your card, the ace of diamonds, is right here. So I asked the question, is this your card? No, that's not your card. I place it on the face of the deck. Your card is now right here. I put the cards inside the box. 
Just remember, there's a slit right in the back of the box. If I put my thumb on here, the card will go up and down, just like this. Then all I need to do is hold the card in a position like this with my thumb resting on the back. Hold the cards, wave my fingers, and in a magical gesture, the card rises from the deck. So there you have it. That's how it works. But don't forget, my young magicians, a great magician never gives away his secrets too easily. So go out there and amaze your pals. Now let's see what Wizzy's doing. One day you'll get the hang of it. Uh, the one thing about magic is that you must never give up. Just keep practicing. Oh, I know, Glenn. I just want to be just like you, Val. Don't worry, Wizzy. One day you shall be. Talking of aspiring magicians, I think it's about time we met our first contestant of the day, competing for the Alaka Wizzy Wand. Oh, I love this part. Now let's head over to the magic stage to meet our first contestant. Well, hello there, my young aspiring magician, and welcome to Alaka Wizzy. And uh, how are you this fine day? I'm pretty good. That's great. And what's your name? I'm Julia. Hello, Julia. And where are you from, Julia? I'm from Sanford. Wow, that sounds like a really nice place. And how long have you been learning magic? Um, for seven years. Wow. And what trick are you going to present to us today? I'm going to be presenting the disappearing coin trick. Oh, that sounds very exciting. Well then, without further ado, let's see the trick and whether you can dazzle us with your mastery of illusion. Kay. Good luck. Here I have a coin, a drinking cup, and a tube of mystery. I place the tube of mystery over the drinking cup, and then I place the cup over the coin. Abracadabra, Alakawizzi. And then lift it up, and the coin is gone. Brilliant. A worthy magic act indeed. Hats off to you, madam. What did you think, Wizzy? Oh, I thought it was whiz, whiz and woo. Quite. Now, before we get to our next guest, how about a hilarious whittle from you, Wizzy? Oh, yes. This is where I'll shine. Okay, okay. Now, why are teddy bears never hungry? I don't know. Why are teddy bears never hungry? Because they're always stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good, Wizzy. Amusing as always. And with that, I believe our second young magician is ready to perform. Back to the stage, Wizzy. <laughs> Whoop. Why, you're an impressive looking person. What's your name? Jaya. Who is Aru? What a brilliant name! And why do you want to be a great magician, Jaya? Because I like to perform magic tricks. Excellent! I understand completely! Wizzy! And how long have you been practicing magic for? Five years. Oh, wow! It takes a lot of practice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Patience is the key, is what Glenn keeps telling me. Well now, Jaya, it's time to see your magic trick. Are you ready? Ready. Whoop. I am going to perform the matchbox trick. These two matchboxes are empty. This matchbox has matches in it. Now, watch carefully. Okay. Now, you think... Now, this is the one you think has matches in it. Sorry. It's this one. Watch again even more closely. You think it's this one? Sorry. It's this one. Oh, well, this is a close call indeed. Both magicians have performed admirably. But there's only one way to find out who is the winner. So let's get both young magicians up here on stage. 
Right, now there's only one magician who can truly decide which one of these young fellows here deserves their Alakawizzi wand. And that is the brilliant, the fantastic great grandfather Wizu. Gee whiz! Uh, we call out to the spirit of great grandfather Wizu to come and judge these young magicians. Wizu, can you hear us? I hear you, I hear you. And those two young magicians, amazing! They have the potential to one day be even as good as I. But who was the better Wizu? Who is worthy of the Alokawizzi wand? A tough decision. In fact, almost far too tough. However, decide I must. And as such, I declare that the winner is... Jaya! Well, there we have it. Of course, you were both brilliant. And Julia, do not be disheartened. Uh, the magic you showcased here today was truly magnificent. However, only one of you can take home the Alakawizzi wand. And today, that is you, Jaya. So congratulations to both of you. Take a bow. <laughs> well, I never. Well, children, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. But before you go, here's a quick magic trick that will have you scratching your heads for a long time to come. Can you see the colour of this card? It's a nice big black card. Watch carefully on the count of three. One, two, three. And if you keep practising, then you'll be able to master such a trick in no time, I'm sure. Well, Wizzy, we'll that's all we have time for today. I'd like to thank both our brilliant young magicians as well as great grandfather Wizu. Until next time, children, keep practising. Alaka Wizzy. Mm -hmm.